Mbappe. And uh, let's now take a look at some sports stories. And we start in Naivasha, where Toyota's Kel Rovanpera bounced back in the 10th special stage at the Safari Rally to dominate after mixed fortunes in the opening rounds on Saturday morning in Naivasha. His teammate, Takamoto Katsuta, was in imperious form in the 8th stage with T. Eri Noville taking charge of the Element Aita 1 stage. NTV's Elijah Uko has been following the action in Naivasha and now updates us on the penultimate day of the rally. Elijah, how is Vasha so far? Oh, Vasha so far has been fantastic. I know you wish you, you could be here, but don't worry, I'll be having fun for you. And uh, so far in the morning uh, loop, it was quite interesting. We did have Soisambu and we did have uh, Element Aita, which we did show on our screens. And uh, it finished off uh, with a sleeping warrior. Things can get really interesting when it comes to the Safari Rally. As we saw yesterday, it was Toyota 1, 2, 3. But things have changed a bit in the standings. Uh, right now, it's Kale Rovanpera, who is still ahead. And he has quite a significant lead because he's leading by 1 minute 27.9 seconds. And he's followed by a Hyundai. And that is Thierry Novello, who is also the championship uh, current leader at the moment. Uh, he has separated the Toyotas. Elvin Evans was second yesterday, but unfortunately, it got two punctures in the morning. And that made him to fall up until a fifth place. And of course, there's a driver who has been going under the radar. And that is Adrian Former of Ford. He's been driving quite steadily, not taking the car too far, but also just trying to ensure that you get to the finish of each and every stage. And whatever happens, you will capitalize on the faults of other teams and misfortunes of other teams. After the first loop, the drivers did come back to the service park and we got to mingle with them a bit and got to hear their views. And this is what they had to say. Yeah, just get through on a good rhythm, uh, keep my, my, my position where I am, keep the gaps. So yeah, um, in that case, uh, it would be nice to end the day like this. And it would be a bit more better for tomorrow because in case of a puncture tomorrow, it's only 10k stages, you would get through uh, yeah, without losing a position. So it was fun. Uh, I really enjoyed the driving. Um, I think the times could be more, actually even better. We had puncture in every stage, so that was limiting a bit, especially in the last one. We, we need to drop down the speed completely because the tire was completely destroyed. But, but even the, the first and second stage, we were losing time because of that. In the end, it doesn't matter, but the, the times could be even better. So the speed is actually quite good. We are not so far from the podium, so we're going to try to push a little bit more this afternoon. Afternoon will be more difficult because you have a rest grip and uh, still the same section we need to drive, so yeah, finger cross for tyres. Well, we could see quite different conditions if the weather changes, so uh, then of course it's, it's trying to, to survive and get through it. Yeah, that was the plan, to, to try to keep steady pace, not to take too many risks, and it has been working so far. And as you have rightly heard from the drivers, the conditions will be totally different because it has rained here. The heavens have opened and the conditions and it will be quite slippery, making it very difficult for the drivers. But, but it's all about managing the car, not trying to go too hard because if you try to go, to, to go too hard, you might make uh, several uh, mistakes and of course damages to the car because of the roads right here, in, uh, especially in Sleeping Warrior. Uh, yesterday, we did in the, after the morning loop, uh, we saw it was Kale Revampera, Esa Pekalapi and Oit Tanek. Then in the afternoon, it was one, two, three Toyota. So things can drastically change. So whatever has happened in the morning, we might not be the same after the second loop, but we shall wait to see. The conditions right now are quite slippery, so it's going to be plenty of excitement, and that excitement is going to be live on NTV starting from 3 p.m. So do make sure to tune in, and we will be bringing you the pre-race analysis, the action itself, and of course the post race analysis with the evergreen Peter Njaga who is a guru when it comes to motor sport in the country. Well, that's all for me here. Back to you, Ibrahim Karanja. Wow, Eliza Oko there with an in-depth uh, update on what is happening in Naivasha, the action. Be sure, like he mentioned, to catch it on NTV Live as from 3pm.